Almost everyone knows about Firebase. Firebase is a NoSQL system that Google maintains and promotes. Firebase works for a lot of people and is pretty easy to use. Both Firebase and Superbase have a free and a paid tier. Firebase has a lot more options than Superbase, like analytics, crashlytics, ML, push notifications, and remote config. So why would you want to use it something else? First, let's start with pricing. Superbase has a free tier that includes two free projects, 500 megabytes for database and one gigabyte for file storage, two gigabytes bandwidth, and 50 megabytes for file uploads. For their paid program, it's $25 per month per project, eight gigabytes for the database and 100 gigabytes for file storage, 50 gigabyte bandwidth, three gigabyte file uploads, and daily backups. Notice that you only get two free projects, but you don't have to pay for authentication. $25 per month per project is not too bad for a paid database hosting service. For Firebase, there's a free tier that's 10K per month for authentication, one gigabyte total storage, 10 gigabyte network, 20K document rights, 50k document reads, and 20k document deletes. For the paid tier, you pay 0 0.1 cents per verification, 0 0.108 per gig after one gigabyte, 10 gigabytes per month network, then cloud pricing, 20 gigs per month document rights, 50k document reads, then cloud pricing, then 20K per month, document deletes, then cloud pricing. The free tier is pretty good, but you will eventually need a paid plan. Paying for every authentication request can add up depending on the number of users you have. There have been stories of projects that were not optimized and ended up costing the developers way more money than they were expecting. In Superbase, you do not have to pay for reading, writing, and deleting. It's unlimited, just the fixed monthly amount. Unlike Firebase, Superbase is open source. That means that you can host your own system on AWS, Google Cloud, or other vendors. If you don't want to host your own instance, you can have Superbase host it for you. You're not locked into one vendor. You are in control. This also means that there are more developers that know traditional relational systems like Postgres. And since it's open source, that means you can modify the system to work the way you want to. This is great for companies that want to control their database behind their own firewall. I started using Firebase and for a while things went well. Then I started noticing that my code got more and more complicated in order to work with Firebase. Firebase uses a NoSQL database. This is basically a very flexible way to store JSON data. The problem is that you have to decide how you want to store your data in a way that works efficiently. I tried storing my data in several different ways. One of the ways I tried caused the reading of the data to be incredibly slow. I then stored it in a way that was very fast but caused me to jump through many hopes to get the data back in a way that worked for the app. You also have to be careful in designing your NoSQL structure. If you do it incorrectly, costs can climb. In the end, I decided that I did not want to fight my database and decided to look elsewhere. I stumbled upon Superbase and was surprised that it was easy to use and came with Flutter support. Firebase is a NoSQL database and stores data first in collections. Inside of collections, you will have multiple documents. Each document is a blob of JSON data. You can also have nested collections inside of your documents. This makes relational dat data difficult to manage. Most of the time, you end up duplicating data, which causes you to have to update your data in multiple places. The APIs are not that hard to use, but you have to create a lot of functions to build up your query. Starting with collections, adding document IDs, adding nested collections, etc. In contrast, 
Supabase uses Postgres relational databases, which uses tables with columns. You can have IDs pointing to other tables, and Supabase's easy-to-use builder pattern makes retrieving the data simple. Firebase puts authentication behind rules, which are harder to maintain than SQL-based security. These rules can only be changed from web-based UI, and you usually end up searching how to handle security by Googling it. Usually testing the rules requires a trial and error process. Now that you know that what Supabase is and how it differs from Firebase, let's get into the app that you will build.